Good morning, teacher. Good morning, classmates. I am Hans Gabriel of GT6. Today, I will be doing parts of a gomemela flower. Let's start. Parts of a flower and their functions. Most flowers have four main parts. Petal, sepal, stamen, and pistil slash carpel. Sepals. These are the small leaf-like parts growing at the base of the petals. They form the outmost whorl of the flower. Collectively, Sepals are known as the calyx. The main function of the calyx and its sepals is to protect the flower before it blossoms. Petals. They are modified leaf-like parts that surround the reproductive organs of a flower. Petals are the brightest and colorful parts of a flower that distinguish them from other parts. <music> The function of petal is to protect the reproductive structures in flower, attracting pollinators like insects, bees, wasps, butterflies, and other mammals to transfer pollen from male to female reproductive part of a flower. Stamen. It is composed of two parts, the anther and the filament. Anther, yellowish sac-like structure present at the head of the stamen. The function of anther is to help in producing and storing pollen grains. Filament, slender stalk-like structure present at the tail of the stamen. The function of filament is to hold the anther and attach it to the flower. Pistil. This is composed of three parts. The stigma, the style, and the ovary. Stigma. The head of the pistil that catches pollen grains. Style. The stalk of the pistil when pollen grains reach stigma, a tube-like structure grows through the style called pollen tube, which reaches the ovary. Ovary. The base of the pistil that holds the eggs or ovals. The ovary later becomes the seed when the female and male reproductive cells fuse together, forming the embryo, a process called fertilization. Ovule. 
These are the egg cells of a flower contained in the ovary. Receptacle. It is that part of the flower to which the stalk is attached to. It is small and found at the center of the base of the flower. Pollen tube. Transport sperm cells from the tip of the stigma to the ovary. Pedicle is the stalk that supports a single flower. It creates a connection between the flower and the inflorescence. The inflorescence contains more than one flower and forms the whole plant. A singular branch from the inflorescence is the pedicle. A flower with a pedicle is known as a pedicellate flower. Parts of the flower. The stamen is composed of anther and filament. The pistil is composed of stigma, style, and ovary. The pedicle is the one that holds up the flower. The sepal is the important part that holds the petals. The petals are the colorful part of a flower. The pedicle is the one under the ovary. The ovule is the one that grows on the ovary. Pollen tube. Transport the sperm cells from the ovary. Cross-pollination. It's the process of applying pollen from one flower to the pistil of another flower. Pollination occurs in nature with the help of insects and wind. While self-pollination occurs when the pollen from the anther is deposited on the stigma of the same flower or another flower on the same plant. That's all for the parts of the flower and its function. Bye-bye.